<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The loon. The loon. <laughs> and we're really excited because today we are going to make some wonderful, mm. wonderful coleslaw. It's mm. barbecue season. This is the perfect addition for all of your wonderful mm. barbecue dishes. Now, coleslaw, yes. if you didn't know, was actually uh, comes from the Dutch. Really? Yes. Coal means cabbage, and slaw means uh, it's abbreviation for salad. So you've got actually coleslaw. So they brought it to New Amsterdam, which was New York, along with wooden shoes. Wow, that wasn't, wasn't that informative. <laughs> now, should you say it like with an accent, like you just attempted? Corsla, Corsla. I don't buddy. know if that's Dutch. So. I don't think it is. I think okay. every accent I do so, is that accent. That same accent. So <laughs> um, let me just give you a quick overview of what we're going to be using today. It's all fresh ingredients. Yay. It's really good. Uh, we're going to start with this lovely green cabbage. We'll talk a little bit Feed more about me. that in a moment. Yep. Feed me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to add some freshly grated carrots. We got a little chopped red onion. Um, and then we're going to make this beautiful, vibrant, zesty, Swedish kind of a dressing. Not that's too gonna, sweet, No, though. not too sweet. It's all going to blend together. Sweet I know. Ironically, Sorry. you don't like it too sugary. But um, <laughs> we're going to make a dressing that consists of some sugar, uh, some kosher salt, some fresh ground black, 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 black pepper, pepper, some celery seed, and then that's all going to blend together with some fresh mayonnaise, some buttermilk, some milk, some white, uh, white mm, wine vinegar, and yum. some fresh lemon juice. It's all going to come together and just be spectacular. So, He's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with this right here. Now this is a, this as you can see is a cabbage. I would really recommend, especially if it's in the months where you can get it from the, from the produce or from your market, that's even better. But a, a fresh uh, piece of cabbage is always going to be better than, of the bag. than what you get out of the bag. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. So you're just going to mm. take these outer, um, mm, delicious, <laughs> isn't it? We're going to take these outer, outer leaves off because you don't really need them. And then you see this little part right here? This is the end. This is really what holds together the, uh, the whole cabbage. We're going to take this nice, sharp knife, and I'll tell you how, don't be scared of it. And we're just going to cut right through that. See how that just came right off? Oh. Now, it's super important to have a good knife in your kitchen. I can't impress this enough. Um, we're going to now cut this in half. Look it just that. makes That's your life like butter. It really is. I mean, it gets a little <laughs> stiff there down at go. the bottom. There you go. But having a, f a sharp knife um, is wonderful. And in this particular one, I just recently uh, ordered this and got this. Um, so you can find out on how to feed a loon, not only this recipe, but where you can get yourself some really quality knives. And it may seem a little scary because they're sharp, but Ooh. I found it improves your knife skills tremendously and it also is so much safer to work with because it's sharp and it just really even something like a cabbage which is pretty you know it's still going to fight yeah, back at you a little like bit. Yeah, I mean you're like cutting through a plant there. You are. You're <laughs> cutting through a plant and it uh, it really just it makes it so much easier and you you won't believe how much your knife skills will improve so investing in a, in a good knife set this is just your basic French knife or, or cooking knife uh, chef's knife sorry is is <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> it's really perfect. So for this one, I'm just going to use two, uh, I'm going to use half of the, the cabbage. So two, two quarters. quarters. Right, right. And uh, basically all we're going to do is we're just going to start shredding this. Ooh. And you know, Ooh. you can keep, do it as thin as oh, you like. Dear. I don't like it too thick. And um, wow. Now, uh, now why aren't you, now, I mean, some slaw has like the red cabbage you too, can do they? you can definitely do red cabbage that's not a problem and when it gets kind of close to the end you can you know again you can tell i'm going to cut that part out well, why aren't you using red cabbage though you can but um i have found that when you use red cabbage as it sits in the dressing which it's going to and let all of those flavors really marry um i like to cut this in half i don't want the pieces to be too big um Ooh, look at all that mm. the colors start to bleed Oh, because the red and the, the yeah, I the, mean, there's the, the dressing. It makes it all. It makes it. Let me put this in here. Like you have a, like a pink. It can. Salad, it just starts to bleed, and then the, the the. I mean, the, it tastes good, you know, because I love a red cabbage. But visually, it just kind of looks a little off. Yes. So well, um, a pink salad actually would match a lot of my outfit. Well, that's true. I hadn't <laughs> thought of that one. But it's not even pink. It's just kind of like a murky color that's just not that appetizing. So we're gonna stick with. We're gonna yeah, stick with I things love that, that don't really bleed. Yeah, it's this really pretty. It's really fresh pretty. and crunchy and delicious. Delicious. Now, there's a little trick that you can do, and uh, you can give this a bit of a rough chop oh. if you want. Um, 
That's okay. odd. That's great. Yeah. And so you, you're throwing it in here. So what I'm going to do, there's a trick. Now, like I said, this uh, the celery, I mean the celery, this cabbage is, as you see, it's, it's, it's like uh, Wesley said, it's a plant and it's, it's, it's kind of kind of tough mm -hmm. at the moment. So there's a trick. Can I try it? Sure. Yeah, that's tough. Kind of earthy. <laughs> um, so here's some kosher salt that I've got. If you just liberally add this, apply this to your cabbage. Now what is that? Get it all through there. What that's going to do, cabbage, just tear that in half. The salt is going to naturally bring out all of the water, the liquid. There's a rough thing that will pull out. Yeah. Uh, it starts to just pull that out, and it just like magically softens this and you'll see it when it will show it to you in just a few moments it's it's magic it's <laughs> magic water um, but anyway so why don't you just put I'll this over that. here you can you I'll can actually right just leave it there we All have right. it in a bowl you want to put it so either it put it in a bowl or put it in your sink because it will start to pull out moisture and then you know it's going to need that water needs somewhere to go so in the meantime we're going to clean this up a little bit yes. and uh, let's put together our lovely dressing Yay. you want to okay now, this I'm is where I get involved. So hold on. <laughs> Should be fun. No, even the loon can do this. So we're going to get... Thank you. Just kidding. You'll do it one Ooh, be get this knife. Be this careful with so that. Scary. All right. Lord. Okay, so we're going to start off with the sugar. A little sugar. We're going to dump that. Again, you can get all these... Just measure... throw it in there? Just throw, little throw sugar. it in. Yeah. Um, you can get all of these measurements these, these, uh, for these ingredients online at How to Feed Loon. How to Feed Loon. We're going to take um, the, the salt. Okay. That is a teaspoon of salt. Oh, I thought it's a half a teaspoon. Oh, anyway, you'll see it online. Yeah, and then <laughs> um, we're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Yes. Look at that. So careful. <laughs> in 20 minutes, we'll be done. Okay, go ahead. Little, Little uh, uh, this some, some celery, celery seed. seed. Yeah, it's that's just gonna nice. give it a nice zest. Ooh. Okay, now let's, uh, let's I put mix those all in that my, I put celery seed, I put celery something in my Bloody Mary. Yeah. Celery salt. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> which we can never seem to keep at the house for some reason. Okay. Get that nice and stirred. Get that all incorporated. Incorporated. Get those little, the, the, there's some lumps in the sugar. Kind of oh. get that out. We don't want it to don't be lumpy. Lumpy sugar. Don't you have once have a dog named Lumpy Sugar? Okay. Now we're going, that's good. Okay. Now we're going to add um, some. The wet ingredients. Yes. Some mayonnaise. Ooh, that is. One of your favorite ingredients in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I had to keep him Would from you eating stop? it a couple times I just can't before even. we got started. You're horrible. Well, <laughs> I love you for it. Okay, very good. You're doing really well. Thank you. Fine, let's go okay. on to the next, okay? Right. What that, should I do with this? Just set it right there. there. Okay, now put in the milk. Milk. Mm. And then in this next, I love this le this next thing. We're adding a little buttermilk. Just Yay. gives it a little depth Ooh. to the flavor. Now let's give it a little acidity with some white wine vinegar. Okay. And mm. a little more tang, Fancy. a little more acid with some fresh lemon juice. Yay. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now take your whisk. I'm gonna whisk, whisk my troubles away. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, oh, here we go again. Always whisking. Well. It's because oh. you do it so well. You I know, jiggle and I whisk. Well, jiggle and I whisk. Jiggle. It's <laughs> a natural born whisker. Okay. <laughs> Start calling you whiskers. All right. So this he's this is going to be ready. Again, that needs that coleslaw needs to sit for about 20 minutes. Let it uh, yeah, get soft. Uh, you can uh, do that. We've got about 10 more minutes probably. So we're going to whisk for 10 minutes. Yes. Oh no, that sits. For, no, you're oh. done. So you can put stick that in the fridge to keep it cool, and uh, we'll see you back in about 10 minutes, and we're gonna put the vegetables with the, the nice soft cabbage, mix mm. it all together, put it in the fridge to let it really marry and blend, and then we're gonna eat it mm. with some barbecue. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, now here we are. We've got our cabbage. Now you remember what we did is we, after we, we shredded it, uh, we added some salt, and we've let it sit in a colander for about 20 minutes, and, mm. and it really, it, it softened it up. Salt. It's, it's a magic salt. salt. <laughs> and uh, then what we did was we took it over to the sink, we rinsed it in the colander to get all of that salt. You don't want all that salt to remain on the cabbage, it'd be too salty. And then uh, we dumped it in this oh, bowl. Oh, look at that, and, it's so yeah, much look, more. It's, it, re it literally transforms mm. the cabbage. It's, it's so good, and it tastes Yeah, it's oh, tasty. you like just, that. I know it, we'll just wait. I'm okay. like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, now what we're gonna do, now again, you know, you see the quantity. This is a half a cabbage that we shredded. 
If you're mm -hmm. if you're feeding more people, this this is this Use salad. A whole this salad would comfortably think, feed, I think, four people. You know, as a nice side. If yeah. you're doing more, you can do a whole cabbage. This is one of those things that you can easily eyeball. So kind of eyeball it as you go. Each step as you add a new layer. Just be be aware of what you're doing. So I've got right here two. These were two medium-sized carrots that I shredded. I used my food processor with a little thing. It's super easy. You can use a box cutter. However you want to shred this carrot. Um, but I'm going to add, I'm probably going to, you, you want to just Not eyeball, you don't want to go over it too heavily. Like orange. So I'm going to use about a, a <laughs> handful. Um, the same thing with the onion. This was a, probably a half, a little less than a half a red onion that I diced. Look at uh, that. And then you're going to put that. Look at all that color. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Wow. That's um, summer in a bowl. It really is. Okay. <laughs> now, Loon, Ooh. here's the beautiful dressing. What we're going to do, now again, I, you know, I want to be careful. I don't want to overdress this. I mean, you can drain a little bit if you do, but it's best to uh, to not overdress. I'm gonna try it. not to overdress. So um, let's that's give it a, a. That's my motto in life. Well, you've certainly <laughs> haven't that's, succeeded. That's been a challenge for you. Um, okay. All right. Let's, so okay. You do that. All right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now you pour it in, and this just let me kind of eyeball it because I've done this a few times, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm. Scary. It's going to be nice. No, no, no. It's lovely. Call it, I mean, this particular recipe. It's almost all of it. This is, yeah. I mean, it, this should be pretty close to the right. I just didn't want to overdress it. And then, all right, let's see how we go. Right. This particular recipe, I, I like. Um, it's not too heavy on the mayonnaise. It's got <laughs> enough to give it a little thickness um, so good. and make it kind of creamy. But I, I just, I like it with a little lighter. And um, oh, look at that. Oh, pretty. That's so oh, that's nice. good. You can, you know, and you can you can add definitely other ingredients too. Here, as I mentioned before, you want to be kind of careful with the. I think that's a, a really that's good a consistency. That's a really good consistency. You want to be careful. Now that looks like some slough. <laughs> well, that's because it is. Cold but slough. you want to be careful with um, anything that's gonna, like I said before, change the color. Red peppers work perfectly. That's not gonna bleed into it. You can add other seasonings like that you like. A little cumin is nice. Ooh. Um, more ground black pepper, I always love. You um, said um, something earlier. What seed was it? You can Another? use mustard seed. Oh, yes, I yes. a lot of times put mustard seed in here. Um, but it just suits your taste. But the, it's just it's so vibrant when you taste the the sweetness with the acidity and the tang. It all goes together mm. wonderfully. Now so to now? really to really make this come together and really make it perfect. You gotta wait just a little longer, uh, and we're gonna yeah, put yeah, this yeah. in the fridge. You need to cover it either with saran wrap or a cover or something, how, whatever your dish is. Cover it up, stick it in the fridge for about two hours, and then pull it out, and you're gonna give it another fluffing or another incorporation of all of the ingredients, and then you're gonna eat it with your fabulous barbecue. Yay! Okay? So, we'll <sighs> see you in about two hours, and we're gonna do some serious eating. <laughs> Ooh, oh wow! Look at that. That's so. I just. Yeah. I love this stuff. Mm. Okay, so as you know, we had the slaw in the refrigerator for two hours. Oh, we two took it out. Very long hours. <laughs> two grueling hours. We <laughs> took it out, and then we have our little uh, serving dish that Yay. we're going to serve this in. That's Again, a really cute bowl, by the way. It, it really <laughs> is, and that's really important. It is actually. Okay, so what we did is we took the the slaw as it was, and I just. I kind of used my hands to, to do that. Sometimes you, a lot of that liquid is going to stay at the bottom. If you don't want it, all of that liquid, then you know either I would do that or use big spoons and bring it that way, and then add a little more of the of the liquid. Oh. Um, some people like it really liquidy. Some people like it just more as a dressing. Mm. I like mm. it more in the dressing mode. Um, but okay, um, I think we're ready. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You want to take a bite? I got my fork. <laughs> <laughs> Travels with fork. All right, let's go for it. Oh, lovely. So good. It's great with barbecue. Oh. We can, I'll say, all right. Okay. See. So while he's battling getting a nice big <laughs> fork full, just remember, you can get this recipe um, at howtofeedaloon.com. Just search for coleslaw, and you're going to see how mm. easy it is to make this on your own. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's a good spoon. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. All that together in one mouth. Mmm. It's fresh and delicious, mm. right? Now that is loon approved. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how to feed a loon. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye.